Yeah, there was a point at which I thought we were going to stop doing the podcast. Maybe we should just drop this bomb on people. There, okay. there was like 50 episodes in. I was basically suggesting to you, maybe we just wrap it up. Why? Because it wasn't what I think we originally thought it was going to be, which what? was, yeah. I thought it was basically an excuse or an opportunity to interact with other people <laughs> is what my original thinking was of the podcast. But then 50 episodes in living in quarantine, working and living with me, you got sick of me is what you're saying. <laughs> is that what I'm trying to dance around? <laughs> no, but like how many times can you just have a conversation with the same 100. person? Yeah, and I wouldn't want this to get to the point where we're just like having the same conversation over and over yeah, again, right? Yeah, I hear you. I guess you, what we've talked about off camera is like how much people enjoy this or like consistently listen to this and how it's important to people. And I guess it's easy to lose sight of that. And while you're making something, you you, you usually aren't like thinking about that, right? Mm -hmm. It's easy to forget um, the long lasting impression that your words will have on people because you're just so preoccupied with, oh, I got to film this for next week, let's get it out. And then we got to plan for next week. So yeah. Okay. All right. That, that's meta enough. I mean, this whole podcast is pretty meta today. Yeah. Let, let, let's get into questions. How about that? Uh, all right. First one from Kira Johnston. Uh, what's the typical process that goes into creating a Simply Pod Logical episode? The decision of a topic, recording, editing, things like that. I'm curious to know how you make this happen behind the scenes. I love these kinds of questions. And there was a lot of them. A lot of people. So Ben, here, this is our debate that we do behind the scenes. We debate whether or not something will be interesting or of value to discuss on the podcast. And mm. I think sometimes we have different opinions on what that is. And maybe it's just where our interests lie. I find this kind of conversation about behind the scenes, how we produce it, do we edit it, and like who does what really interesting. But you think it's really boring, dry content that people aren't going to care about. <laughs> Sometimes the question is more interesting than the answer. Here, here, here's what I'll say But that's what you about... think, because you're not sitting on the other side, like, actually wondering how do they film three things and put it okay. together and no, put it on the internet. This is a fine question. Okay. <laughs> uh, like, we'll be having dinner on a Thursday night, and we're like, shit, the week's almost over already. What, what's the next podcast? <laughs> what's, what's the, the next, next podcast? podcast? <laughs> yeah. And then we'll, we'll basically just bounce ideas around. And yeah. then it's like... We try to record them on Fridays, but that almost never happens. They usually get recorded on Sunday. And then we do a quick edit of it on Monday just to like bounce camera angles around and just listen to so make sure is, we didn't say anything insane. So and what does edit mean? Because we don't actually we don't edit. edit. Right. Editing for most people, they think like cutting up and moving parts around in a series of footage. That's not what we do. This is a continuous hour long segment. No, no. And I'm, I'm proud of the fact that like we don't really edit the podcast. I think mm -hmm. it's important to just normalize, you know, normal conversations. Not all the time are we going to say things perfectly. Nope. <laughs> We're not always right, but it's okay to just in a conversation not be like perfect. Yeah. But when we use the word edit in this context, we mean like produce it, which means importing video or audio footage from five different devices because we have three cameras the sound and the cat cam cat cam is very important men she is there she's there for the hundredth episode right, so right now editing is more like picking which of those four camera angles right. we're using and then uh, i'll syncing the audio i'll sync the audio and uh, do a few things to the audio like put it through a compressor and yeah. things like that and i'll do more of the video like the color correction anytime there's b-roll overlay some of our social cards we'll put that in. i make the thumbnails mm -hmm. um you do all the uploading to like spotify you do all the audio uploading yeah. i take care of the youtube stuff you do the timestamps in the description box okay this is all very technical but right. I, I guess the but more just, interesting thing yeah. might be that we just do this ourselves i think it's very normal for people just to partner up with like some mm -hmm. sort of production company. I think most people do it this way. Yeah. Most podcasts that you listen to, whether by influencers or or not, uh, they're produced by a company that produces podcasts. So whether that means like loaning studio space or just loaning like production efforts. So all those things we just said um, to actually get it produced and sound and look good. Usually someone else does that, but in our case, we do 100% of it. We have never outsourced any of that. And that also means that we own our podcast. Like we own the rights to Simply Pod Logical. Yeah, yeah. We have complete autonomy here. And one thing we haven't done a good job of is monetizing this podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was never a priority for us. Like there have been times we've played around with sponsors that have just like really made sense to you. Like mm -hmm. when we've talked about oats or David's oats overnight or David's tea. 
And that was just sort of like one-off things and conversations with those companies we already had a relationship with, right? Our, the inbox is sort of full of companies. There, there are a lot of people who have asked to be sponsors of the podcast, and it's just, I don't know, not something we've really gotten into or are motivated to do. I think we're just happy to let this just be what it is mostly. Yeah, if we had an agent or a production company company producing this, like, I don't think we would have an option. We'd probably have a sponsor or three sponsors every single episode uh, because that's how they make their money back. But for us, we're not as concerned with that. We've done sponsorships where it made sense or is kind of a trial. But as you may have noticed, like, we barely had sponsors hardly, in the last while. And that's partly because, like, we're not that motivated to, like, get that money just just to be honest and then the second part is maybe i don't care enough about it being because it, it's not necessarily a good fit and then the third one is like we don't really have the time to spend managing like vetting the sponsors aligning it with topics it prevents us from uh, having a more free-flowing conversation if sometimes you the company needs to be able to watch the podcast to verify the ad read but mm. we didn't film it until sunday and they say they need 48 hours and that's not enough time so we're just like okay screw it like it's not important enough <laughs> to yeah. Us then. yeah okay yeah